What is up everybody today I'm going to be showing you guys a new video and in this video I am going to be showing you guys how to make your own LUA script GUI and today I'm going to be making I'm going to be making a really simple one because I do not want to take up a lot of time so this is how it looks uh, whenever you go to Roblox Studio well of course you have to open it and you want to go to model you want to make sure you have UI editor you want to make sure that you have that selected now after you have that selected right click on start as UI hover over to insert object and click on screen GUI right click on screen GUI hover over to insert object and click on frame and then you will see the frame over here now on this you can put in a username and password and then add in another frame and do a bunch of other stuff but in this video I'm gonna do I'm gonna be doing it really simple um, and I'm, this is just gonna be part one to it. Um, this is gonna be really simple. Just gonna add in a few scripts. All right. So after you've got the frame, you can mess around with the background and stuff. I personally like. Um, oh yeah. Also, you want to make sure you go to properties and you want to make it draggable. You want to make it active, and you also want to make it selectable. Now, once you've done that, you can change the background color. For me, I like the background color 30-30-30. It gives you this background color. If you guys do not like that, it also gives you a, a few styles down here, I believe. Let's see, where is it? And I'm going to change the board size to zero. Oh yeah, you can change the, you can change the style to whatever these. Uh, you can make it that. Let's. I'm just gonna be using custom. Um, really simple. Okay, so once you've like messed around, done whatever you want with it, you want to always make sure, like, every time, make sure that you always rename this. This is just gonna be test GUI. That's what I'm gonna name this one. You have. You want to have every single one of yours, like, renamed. This is just gonna be script frame. Like you have to make sure you always rename them so you can keep track of which ones which. Now, if you've done that, right click on frame and if you want to add in a text label, for an example, you want to put a uh, credit spy me or something like that. Just load in. I mean, make sure you use a label, not a text button or something else. Make sure you use a label. And in the text, you can make it credit me or something like that um, it doesn't really matter what you put on there you can put whatever you want doesn't matter you can change the color do whatever we're not going to be putting one of those on there but okay um, we are going to be adding a let's see you can add a text label for like the here let's add a text label real fast alright we're going to match it that we're going to take off the border pixel zero and we're going to change the background to 20 20 20 and then I'm going to rename this um, scripts <laughs> okay and if you want to make it a huge text just put text scaled now once you're doing with this you do not want to make it draggable or achievable anything like that or I mean active just the frame but not this I am not saving it um, because this is just a test uh, you can change the color to whatever you'd like you don't need to save this guys if you guys want to so you can go back later in the future and edit it after you've done that um, let's rename this real fast um, we're gonna name it um, label no just name it doesn't really matter as long as you uh, keep up with the name all right now um, for the scripts part you want to put text button we're just gonna add in two scripts to make it really fast um, uh, this one's gonna be a GY I'm gonna make this one um, what GY uh, I'm gonna make it nebula hub nebula you don't need to put nebula hub um, we're gonna make it Nebula V2 text scaled. You can change the text color to whatever you'd like. 
Oh, and also I forgot to mention that you could also um, change the where is it? You can change the font to whatever you guys like. I like using uh, this one right here because it just looks pretty cool to me. And you don't need. I'm just gonna make it the same as that. Oh, I'm gonna take off the border pixel as well. Now, um, if you guys are like me, whenever you don't want to like just re-put all that because you want the same font, just select it, Control C and Control V, and it should copy it. Let's see. The computer's acting up. Let's just copy it manually and paste. Okay, and we'll give you two of them. Um, we're just gonna add in two scripts on this joy, like I said. Um, let's rename one of these real fast. We're gonna name this uh, Rocky Admin. Just Rocky, because I know what it's gonna be. Um, Rocky Admin. Okay, so once you've done editing your scripts, putting scripts, whatever you guys want, you do want to make sure that for the scripts, you those are buttons. Um, if you mess with the text box, that's for something else like password, username, stuff like that, label. Like these, these three are the only ones you really want to be messing with whenever you're making GUIs and the frame, of course. Um, okay. Now, once you've done that, you want to go to plugins and this converter. Now, you do not automatically have this. Um, you actually download this, which there will be in a link in the description to get it. So you want to click on converter, or no wait, you want to click on your screen GUI, and then you want to click converter, because if you just click it, it'll usually take you to something else. Now you do not need to delete these, I'm just doing that, you guys do not need to do. But one main thing that you do need to do for sure is rename this core GUI. You want to make sure you rename that to core GUI, otherwise none of this will work. Now once you have done that, just copy everything. Now we are not done here, you still need to add in your scripts and everything. Um, let's see. I do not know where all those came from. Or how all that just got. Okay, forget about that. Okay, um, now you want to just uh, get a new, a new pad or something like that. You want to open it right here um, after you've done that let's see let's find our nebula hub and stuff he's our rocky's admin and a nebula hub okay now once you've done that um, th you want to go to this paste bin link that I will leave in the description um, you want to copy everything that's in it and you want to go on here um, put it right under your it does not matter how much space you don't even need to space I just like spacing it just so it can be pretty much organized and you want to paste them right below these and right here where it says button name here you want to put nebula or whatever your uh, whatever you named the button as rocky now once you have done that uh, you want to get your scripts um, let's see Rocky's admin right here copy it all I'm gonna exit out um, you wanna you want to make sure you have this do not delete that right there and just paste it right there now once you have done that do not mess with whatever's inside the script now nebula right here let's get it copy it exit out and paste it exactly right there now once you have pasted it right there there you go you have your script you can execute this in the game oh I forgot right here you want to make sure you spell it core GUI capital C and capital G thank you guys for watching I hope this does work for you guys um, comment down in the description if you guys want me to make another GUI but with a login thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video